Hi, I'm Martin. I'm a product developer here at Frosmo, and today we'll look at the workflow with the new Frosmo Recommendations feature. On the agenda, we will analyse the intended purpose of recommendations, the data flow from creation to viewing that recommendation to the visitor, and then we will demo the workflow in the Frosmo Control Panel, or FC. Frosmo has been offering recommendations now for many years. As we moved to this age of AI and ML, we felt now was the time to improve our recommendations feature so that anyone could create a recommendation for their end users. As a result, we've improved our infrastructure tenfold in how we aggregate data from multiple sources, to processing that data, and then getting that data out of our platform to display to your end visitors. Recommendations work like this. Data is collected from multiple sources, such as a product feed or the website. It's then passed through the data pipeline, where it's then aggregated. From there, it's passed into the machine learning algorithm, such as most view or most converted. Then, use a new API, known as Reco API. That recommendation can be displayed to the end visitor through the use of JavaScript in a basic modification. Now for the exciting part, let's go to the demo. Firstly, I have to create a recommendation. So in the Frosmo control panel, I navigate down to data management, I select it, and then below, I set the recommendations entry. As you can see, I don't have any recommendations created, so I can create my first recommendation by selecting the link here, or then selecting the button. From there, a recommendation is created, and now it's time to configure that recommendation for my purposes. I select the title, or then from the action menu here, I select edit, and then I can start to configure the specifics of my recommendation. As it is, I already have a recommendation created, so I simply copy that in, and I want to show the most viewed products in the last five hours. I then save, I click cancel to navigate back to the list view and from there it will be scheduled and the recommendation data will then be generated for this particular recommendation configuration. Now let's go to the modifications to use this recommendation configuration. But before I can do that I must first create a placement as to where I would like to show my particular content. So in the FCP or Frosmo Control Panel I navigate to modifications and I select placements. From there I select the create placement tab and I enter the information as to this particular placement. So recommendations demo. I would like to put my content in the body and then after content. I select save and now it's onto the modification. So in the Frosmo control panel, I navigate to overview and from there I can create my modification. So I select the button create modification. I give it a name, recommendations demo. I select the modification type basic and for this purpose I don't need comparison group. I select create modification and then I can proceed to add the content. Now I've created the content beforehand so I select the content tab, I open up one variation and then I place my content here. Now this content is simply some JavaScript HTML and CSS. All it's doing is it's calling the Recommendations API or Reco API with the recommendation configuration I've created, which is most viewed five hours. And then I want to see all types. So there I don't pass any particular type. Then I'm using JavaScript to render that to the page. And then I have CSS to make it look pretty. I select activate to activate variation. I then save. And then the final step is to basically use the placement we created earlier. So I hit select display options, and then I choose my placement I created. I select save. And then the last thing to do is to activate the modification. And now my modification is live, and then I'm able to preview it in my website. So let's see what our recommendation looks like. So I open a new tab. I head on over to that tab and as you can see my recommendation content is here and this is using the most viewed content for the last five hours. Now for this recommendation to work of course you have to have tracking enabled but of course using the documentation available at docs.frosmo 
it will take you through what is required. Well, that concludes the demo. If you have any questions, then please don't hesitate to contact us at fosman.com. Thank you.